Hello everybody and welcome to my channel. Please subscribe and hit the like button and I appreciate it so very very much and I want to thank my subscribers. Yes, that is uh, makes me very happy. Um, let's go and see here uh, what Mr. Mr. Musk has to say here. Now I've got to uh, Put that in just a hair so I can uncover my camera or I will lose it. Okay, new Twitter owner, Elon Musk, wasted no time disbanding the board of directors in a move that commence, cements his firm control over the social media platform. He previously called the body a waste of time. The company announced Monday in a securities an exchange commission filing that the billionaire entrepreneur was now the sole director of Twitter. The terms of agreement reportedly made clear that the move was his intention from the start. Okay. The new owner and new sole director already fired from former CEO Parang Agarol. I can't pronounce that, I'm sorry. Parag, P A R A G, Agrawal, A G R A W A L, former chief financial officer Ned Siegel, and top legal executive Vanya Gade. I hope that's right, Vahanya Gade or Gade, just after the uh, acquisition became final last week. Interestingly, Musk indicated he has more to come concerning. The new defunct board, D-E-F-U-N-C-T, defunct, I don't know, <laughs> it's just, he tweeted <laughs> that some deliberately hid specific evidence from the court and advised to stay tuned, more to come. Now it says the board that oversaw Twitter during its sale to Elon Musk has been dissolved with a, uh, Tesla chief now serving as a social media company sole director. Okay. And Musk uh, oust O-U-S-T-S -S, Twitter board named sole director. The board that oversaw Twitter during its sale to Elon Musk has been dissolved with the Tesla chief, the Tesla chief now serving as the big, big guy, I guess. <laughs> I don't know. Even with the board and trio executives gone, the new owner's house cleaning may be just getting started. The New York Times reported that Musk and his adversary, adversary team held a meeting at Twitter's San Francisco headquarters in recent days. Their purpose was to gather intel on each division's function, and managers were requested to provide a list of the top performers. Other outlets noted that employees uh, beginning in November were to begin receiving stock grants as part of their packages, meaning the further terminations may carry a cost in more grants. For his part, the new owner now claims the unofficial title of Twitter complaint hotline operator more seriously, Musk announced the coming formation of a content moderation console. Uh, composed of a diversity of viewpoints. Oh my goodness. He also emphasized the major content decisions and account reinstatements are on hold until the console begins to work. <clears throat> they there have, however, been several indications that Musk is rethinking Twitter's content modern policies. The self-declared free speech absolute is obviously uncomfortable with inscriminate, inscriminate censorship and permanent bans on individuals, which means more changes are coming. <clears throat> Excuse me. One decision is to, uh, to be made is whether to rescind the permanent ban on former President Donald Trump. Whether the Republican would return to the platform is another issue, but Musk, quite publicity, publicly 
criticized the decision before acquiring the company. Well, you know, freedom of speech. I just don't know what's happened to it. You can say the least little thing and get in trouble. It, it, it don't make sense to me. When you've got freedom of speech, if it's respectful, you know, it, it just don't make sense to me, but whatever. So he's really cleaning house, it sounds like. So I guess that's good in one way and maybe bad for others in another other way. Because some have lost their jobs. That's not very nice. That's for sure. So we've got to move along here. Trying to get everything lined up here. Boy, I have a mess, let me tell you. I sound like Bob Ross with his paintings. <laughs> I watched a lot of Bob Ross. Ted Cruz says Hunter Biden probe is a prelude for in, indicting Donald Trump. The Justice Department's leaks about the investigation of Hunter Biden, which involved allegations of drug and tax violations, were a prelude to f filing criminal charges against former President Donald Trump, according to Senator Ted Cruz. The Texas Republican said on Fox News that the Justice Department wanted to show how even-handed it was. That's politics, not law enforcement. The Justice Department leaked last month that it was planning on indict, indicting, I-N-D-I-C-T, indicting President Joe Biden's son, Hunter. These leaks are worrying as the department should refrain from leaking anything, the senator added. <clears throat> Hunter Biden is a troubled soul, and he has struggled with addiction all his life, noted Cruz. The Justice Department's focus on tax and drug issues is not helping the public understand why this matter is important. If he was a regular person struggling with addiction, this would not be a public issue. The investigation into Hunter Biden is a matter of national concern, noted Cruz. There is evidence that shows that he was actively involved in his father's corruption. According to Cruz, the Ukraine-based company Burshmima paid Hunter 83000 a month, and his father was actively involved in helping the company's owner. Hunter Biden has no knowledge about the oil or gas industry, and he was being paid by an oligarch who was represented by his father. Now, I did another video on this. I hope it's not the same one. But I think there's different things in here. <clears throat> in China, Hunter and his family made over $5 million, which included 10% of what Joe Biden was earning. The Justice Department apparently doesn't care about the big guy, as it only focuses on drug matters. This is very concerning, as it makes it seem like one poor person is struggling with addiction. <clears throat> In his new book entitled Justice Interrupted, Cruz talks about how the left has taken over the country's legal system. He claims that former President Barack Obama used the FBI, the CIA, the IRS, and the DOJ to attack political enemies. Cruz claims that hardcore political groups worked against Trump before he even became president, and they are now out to open due, out in the open, due to Joe Biden's administration. This is the most corrupt and political department in the history of the U.S. Wow. I don't know. It's just one thing after another. Mm -mm, mm -mm, mm -mm. Well, folks, that is about it for me for today. Yes, I'm going to uh, take a rest. I've got a lot piled up here. And I'm getting kind of tired. I think I probably should. 
uh, take a little nap. I did some housework, got that done, did some errands, got that done. <laughs> so <clears throat> I think I'm about ready to uh, just kind of call it a day here. And maybe tonight I'll come back on. I can't be sure. But you just remember that you are special and you are a blessing. And stay well, you know, and stay safe. And I'm going to click my little button here. And I'm going to say, good afternoon, my time in Iowa, which is 1.21 p.m. at this time. And I've been up since 2.30 a.m. this morning. So I might see you a little bit later on. So God bless. Bye. Or so long. I don't like goodbye. I like so long. See you later.